When I play Beat Saber in VR, I constantly get annoyed at the controllers because either they're too much on my hands or I end up throwing them. Are these controllers any better? Hey, great question. Actually, uh, so the, the wrist straps from the earlier line of Quest, Quest 1 and Quest 2, are still there. So those still exist. Uh, the, the actual controllers themselves are a similar shape, but there's no longer a tracking ring around them. Uh, so it means you don't knock them into each other, like, ever. Um, the other thing is you might want to, you know, with Beat Saber, oftentimes you want, like, a claw grip, where you, like, literally put your big muggy hand all over the controller. And I tested it. You can put uh, your hand all over the controller, and the controller will still somehow track to the headset. Uh, part of the tracking is uh, light that you can't see, infrared dots that are littered all over the controller. Part of it is interpolation, the headset using its own algorithms to figure out where the controllers are. And also it's part like gyro, so the controller themselves know when you're moving it. Um, and the combination of those three is a real concert because it feels like a laser tracked controller. I'm really impressed with them. And even if you cross them in front of each other and behind and above the head, they generally don't lose tracking. Uh, some of some of the if you take them completely out and bring them back into view, it takes them I don't know a third or maybe a half of a second to kind of snap and remember where they are. Uh, but honestly, they're really impressive, and all my woes about them are gone. Uh, so for people who like first-person shooters, for example, one of the things I haven't yet tested is put them both in line, and you're doing like a sniper shot. Will they wiggle or will they stay nice and firm? So we've yet to test that one out. And just remind me again, what was your original question? Uh, whether they were good at either not being too stuck on the hands or getting thrown. Right. There's another additional feature which is really, really good for Beat Saber players. They have a locking battery door compartment. So in the first quest, uh, the battery door would slip open. Uh, the battery itself would jiggle. So they put a heavy spring in, in the quest too so the battery itself wouldn't shake around and lose, uh, lose tracking for like fast Beat Saber game players. Uh, in the second headset, they had a sliding door compartment that was a little bit nicer, but still, if you're playing heavy-duty Beat Saber, it'll slide off. So the third thing that's really cool is there's a little button you push before you slide the compartment down, so you can't accidentally open the battery door anymore, which is great. And also, the unit that holds the battery is the kind of most robust and steady that it's been yet. So I would say we've got to test this out, particularly you do with your Beat Saber skills. Um, but I think if you're an Expert Plus player, you'll be pleasantly surprised at how well these things perform.